get in the water and warm up. Ah! Personally rescued me. $150,000. Sometimes to find the best treasure, you have to travel over land. And travel by water. We're back in Ohio on one of our favorite islands, Kelly's Island. This is where I grew up going to camp as a third grader. This was where my first job ever as a speedboat driver happened at 16. I didn't even have a driver's license and here I was with 125 horsepower behind me out over this beautiful Lake Erie. You see that right there? That is an original autograph from 1994 and 95 when I first got a job here. This is my good buddy, Dave Sellers. He's the executive director here at Camp Patmos. Dave, we actually used to serve together. We, camp, did. Right? Yeah, we did, yeah, absolutely. What do you think of my shirt? Well, I, as much as I love it, I mean, we love chasing Bigfoot, but I think you need a new shirt. I've, been, I've seen you wear that like forever. It must be like your favorite shirt. It stuck on me. Oh, well, we I, can, we I can, can't get it we'll, off. We'll have to pry it off. All right, you, you, you got any other I've got another shirt here. This okay. one here, our Camp Patmos 10-foot wave shirt. What's the 10-foot wave? Well, we are on an island. We are on an island on water. Lake Erie, and yeah. we do see 10-foot waves out on the lake. But not only that, do we see them here, but when you see 10-foot waves, it's like in the Bible, Try yeah, on. definitely. Try it on. In Matthew 14, uh, Jesus uh, sent the disciples out on the lake, and the wind and the waves came up, and they were afraid. And they saw something on the lake, walking on the lake, and they thought it was a ghost, but it was actually Jesus. And he's, he's walking to them. Uh, Peter, one of the leader of the apostles, the disciples, he's like, Jesus, if that's you, tell me to come out. And Jesus said, come. And so Peter steps out of the boat. He's walking and gets distracted by the wind and the waves and he starts to sink and immediately Jesus reaches down and rescues him. And so that's where we're calling our staff and our campers. When you're in that storm, don't look for the ghost, look for Jesus because he is right there to rescue you, reach down and grab you and pull you out. So, And that's why I love this place. It not only rescues all the kids that are here, but it personally rescued me. Dave, I believe in the ministry and the mission of Camp Patmos, and frankly, I believe in you. So much so that we started this process, I believe it was in December 2020, when we finally announced that we were giving away, what was the initial check? Do you remember? Was it 50? I think it was 50, 56,000 dollars. Something like, like that. Something, something like that. As a, as a matter of fact, you know what? Let's do a flashback. Let's look back to 2020 right now. Here we are, December 31st, 2020. It has been a hails of a year for a lot of people. For us, it's been a hails of a record year. And so we wanted to restorage the love. We want to take the opportunity to try and change some lives. George, check this out. I am literally signing the check for $50,000. $50, Somebody out there is going to receive it. And then after that donation, we ended up, uh, we made another significant donation. Dave, okay. you, you called me, you said you had another need, mm -hmm. right? And so um, we wrote another check. I don't, I don't remember how much it was for. What I do know is the total so far has been $143,000. We're going on a secret mission. And this one is a super top secret mission. Patience doesn't even know where we're going. Hello. Uh, this is this is a crazy mission because we aren't actually going to find treasure today. We're going to deliver treasure today. We're at JJ. We're, we're at JJ Sales. What's JJ stand for? Jeremy and George. George. <laughs> Maybe. George with a J. Dave, this has got to be one of the most beautiful boats I have ever seen. What do you think about the color green? I love it. It's going to stand out on the lake. When you look out there, you see that green, you're going to know there's Camp Patmos. This boat became available quite accidentally. This well, boat is incredibly gorgeous. <laughs> it's a 21 foot X, and the X with Yamaha means it's a sport boat. It's made to tow, it's made to board, it's made to ski. It was just here at the right time, and now the boats are in some short supply. This is kind of a, a, a gift for everybody, I think. 
amazing. This boat beautiful. is probably the best looking boat I think I've ever seen. Dude. Man, it is just beautiful. Oh my goodness. Look at these seats. How many campers? Okay, open bow. Ten. Ten. Nice so ten. Yep. Ten people you can put in this boat at a time, yep. which is huge because you can put a cabin unit in there. Yep. And relationship building in a cabin is is amazing. Open bow. Oh man. <laughs> oh, Dave. Isn't that nice? Dave. Wait, this has the captain seat too. Oh yeah, pull it up. Oh wow. yeah, look at, look at this, look at this, Christian. This is the captain seat. Beautiful. So that goes up like that, and then and then you can just. Uh oh, Dave. Dave, it's missing. Oh. It's missing something, Scott. What's that? It's missing the brakes. Where's the brakes? <laughs> Where's the brakes? Where's the brakes off? We didn't think you needed the brakes. No, wait, wait. <laughs> Boats don't come with brakes. It's drive fast and never stop. <laughs> I can just see the relationships happening. Yeah. Kids having a blast here on the boat. Another view. Yep. I love boats. I grew up at Camp Patmos driving boats. 16 years old, my first job ever. I've never seen a boat like this at Camp Patmos. <laughs> you think camp could use it? I think camp could use this to build relationships with our campers. Again, 10, 10 people on a boat, you can get the cabin Huge. on the boat, Huge. you can get a family on the boat, Huge. ladies retreat, men's retreat, you know, just, this is a, this is a perfect package, this All right. is it. With every perfect package comes a price. How much are they asking for this boat? 71,000 plus, a little, a little, a little bit, yeah. a little bit over 71,000, yeah. mm -hmm. okay. If if George and I were to help Camp Patmos own this boat mm -hmm. and impact lives, um, could I make one request? Yeah. Would you name the boat what I ask you to name it? <laughs> Within reason, yeah, absolutely. Would you name the boat George? I would name the boat George. This would be the George boat. Yep. Okay, I'll tell you what, here's the deal. Uh, I have this really <laughs> wrinkled envelope right here, Dave. Uh, George and I have had the honor and the privilege within within 10 months, if I've done the math correctly, we have had the honor and the privilege to donate, as of right now with this check, $143,000 to Camp Patmos. So Dave, in here is a check for a little bit more than uh, what the boat is, but that's okay. The check was written out before I ever got here. So um, by all means, uh, I, I want to do what God wants to do at the camp and encourage you and the campers. And uh, so on behalf of George and I, there is a check. And uh, hopefully this boat uh, changes lives for God's glory. I don't know about you, but that, that number just doesn't sit well with me, it, does it's it? A, it's a little off. It's I a mean, little off. Not that you're greedy no, or anything no. along those lines, but um, I think I need to make it uh, around one hundred and fifty thousand dollars here's another seven thousand dollar check dave let's take a look at what dave's done with some of this money is this the george this is the george <laughs> why why do you name everything george she names the possums george the raccoons george the chickens george the peacocks george yes. and marilyn yes. and now we have a boat george but it's not ours it's, it's camp patmos's mm -hmm. Dave, why a boat? Why a, a boat, boat of all why things? Why not a boat? But you know, kids love boats. Kids love the water. Tubing, wakeboarding, uh, just being out on the lake. That's what is drawing our campers. That's what draws people to this spot, the Caribbean of Ohio at Camp Patmos. And so we draw them here so we can build relationships with each other and most of all, pointing to a relationship with Jesus. So this boat specifically, because it can have, how many people can be on this Ten boat? Ten people can be on this boat. Ten people at a time. So you can get an entire cabin out on the lake as a, as a cabin building those relationships. And so everything happens revolving around relationships on the boat think of it as fishing okay so if i go fishing i'm putting bait on the line i'm throwing it out i'm casting it out like lake erie here i want the fish to bite so i can catch the fish dave and camp patmos are doing the same thing with things such as boats and water slides and all kinds of fun things it's the bait to get the kids here so we wanted to help have the bait ready so that you guys could help get the kids here Jeremy, look, 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 look. Dave even had its special decal for us. The G stands for Jeremy with the G, and the J stands for George with the J. I'm pretty sure that's just identification for the boat, like a, like a license for a car. It could be, but I like my verse better.
What do you think they should name this boat? Uh, I think they should name it Christian. Dave? Christian, it sounds like a good name to me. God gave us George. Somebody returned it with only like 14 hours on it. God gave me George too. Okay. And so we bought that one and then we put the deposit down for this one. And so this year we finally got it, a 2022 Yamaha 212S. I can't wait to see the kids on it today. Who's going out on the tube first? Me. Who's me? <laughs> Suzanne, I know another Suzanne. Are you going out with her too? Uh, if, if she's not going like super mega fast. Oh man, what's your favorite thing to do at Camp Atmos? Um, probably this. Boating? Yeah. And tubing? Yeah. How do you three feel right now? Excited, Excited. extreme, living on the edge. Excited. This is gonna be Cross amazing. Arms. Cross arms. So you go right here. I don't wanna hurt your own. Good luck, ladies. We don't okay. need luck. You got Jesus. Yeah, we How do you like the new boat? I love it. It rides so smooth. It's the seats are so comfortable. And obviously it's so fun to tube off of. What do you think about the new boat? I really, really like it. Yeah? Yeah. I'm going way boarding. Alright, what's Show us how it's done? Yeah. Jack, 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 Jack. How was it? It was awesome. Yeah? Camp Patch is the best place ever. You have to make new friends and it'll be the best time of your life. You better come. It will be <clears throat> worth your money and worth your time. And if you really want to get into more about God, it's great. They're really great at like sending the message to you. <laughs> you have a fun time. You yell, you make new friends. It's really fun, awesome. <laughs> What do you think of the new boats at Camp Patmos? Oh, they're awesome. Yeah, they're, they're the best. They're amazing. They're amazing. Yeah, you like them? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, what are you going to do? Top speed! What is yeah. it? Top speed! Yeah, baby. Top speed! speed. Oh, I only know one speed. What are you going to do yeah. out there on the boat? You going to you gonna wakeboard? You going to tube? You going to tube? What are you going to do? Everything. Everything? What are you going to do? I think I'm just going to tube. I like it. What about you? Tube. Let's go!
make you a little bit of a, uh, a challenge here. You know, they were trying to knock each other off. I bet you two can't knock me off the tube. Deal? Fist pump it, fist pump it. Come on. Come on, come on. I know this thing can take me off. Come on. Ah, let the challenge begin, boys. I never stood a chance. That's why this boat and all this fun is for the kids. It's all for the kids. You guys bested me big time. How's it feel to be the king of the tube? Pretty, How's it feel, man? Pretty good. Let me ask you another question. Who's king of your heart? God. Who's king of your heart? This is one of the things I love about these boats. They're all built for relationship building. So you see all the cabin buddies right up here. Yeah. Seeing what an incredible tool these boats are for the kids. Now it's my turn to test and see what I can do out here. I used to, believe it or not, I actually used to be able to ski with my teeth. Just get in the water and warm up. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> How long do you think he'll stay up the first try? Uh, maybe 10 seconds. 10 seconds? All right, I'm gonna go with 12 seconds. Go. Okay. Here we go. Jeremy, what happened? What was that? I I don't know what happened. I saw George and everything went foggy. Christian, help me after that last one. Oh, oh, oh. I'm beached whale. Oh, beached whale. Oh, give me something. Ah, oh, I'm beached whale. Oh, you're up now. You're all by yourself. You did pretty good. Uh, pretty Not good. too bad for being, what do you for say, old and oh, fat. fat and... balding guy. I sure am glad this is for the kids and not for me. It's all for the kiddos. Oh, As if that wasn't enough punishment for me. Dave, you up for it? I'm up for it. I'm going to try it. Go to the wakeboard. You got to take it up and Annie with the wakeboard now. That's the man, the myth, the legend here at Patmos. Christian's first attempt at wakeboarding. Oh my goodness, he's up on his first attempt. Christian is up on his first attempt. I can't believe it.
can't help but invest in a ministry that's invested in my personal development and spiritual development so much. And now's the opportunity for you to be a part of Restorage the Love as well. We started this Restorage the Love never knowing where God would take it. It's taken it around the world so far. All around the world. But we can help kids right here, right Dave? That's right. George and I have tried to help in the aspect of giving you ministry tools. But the reality is you need more campers at camp, right? Yep, now's the challenge is getting campers to camp. And in our current culture, it's just harder and harder to get kids to come away and come out to camp and see the beauty we have. Those resources to get them here, to have a good time and hearing the gospel and building those relationships with one another and pointing to Christ. It will be <clears throat> worth your money and worth your time. And if you really wanna get into more about God, it's great. So many of you have asked, what can we do to be a part of Restorage the Love? So here's our challenge. We're inviting you yet again to impact kids' lives. Now, we've given 150,000, and really that's because of you, because of you actually viewing the channel from the beginning to the end, all of these videos and sharing them out. And we can't thank you enough for what you've enabled us to do. But we wanna invite you to be part of even more. If just 15,000 of you gave $10 a piece. George, what, what's $10 in today's culture? $10 is maybe a meal? A meal at McDonald's. If you skipped one meal at McDonald's, just 15,000 of you, and you gave towards Camp Patmos, $150,000 would be raised to match the 150 we already gave. If 30,000 of you just gave $5, George, what's $5 anymore? $5 nowadays is a large cup of coffee. Okay. If you skipped one large cup of coffee, just one this week, if 30,000 of you skipped one cup of coffee, $5 a piece, gave it towards Camp Patmos, that's an additional $150,000 that could impact kids for Christ. Dave, if 150,000 people gave $1 a piece, what would that add up to? $150,000. We're asking you to match our charitable gift to Camp Patmos. Your gift would be charitable as well. We're gonna leave the link right here on the screen. We're gonna put it in the pinned comment. We'll put it everywhere so you can see it. You can give a dollar, $5, $10, whatever your heart's intent. Dave, what will the money go towards? It goes towards scholarships, bringing campers to Camp Patmos to experience the week of their lifetime and to hear the gospel and change your lives for eternity you can be a part of that too. How can life get any better than this? Jet Patch is the best place ever.